welcome to my channel how's it going i hope you're all doing really really well today i missed another week i missed another week is my 27 week pregnancy update i am 27 weeks and one day pregnant which means i am in the third and final trimester <coughs> which is insane it is going so quickly it is terrifying like with the girls it just seemed to drag but i don't know whether it's because i've got the girls to look after and i've got school runs and stuff but it is literally just like week 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 going it's ridiculous so if it is your first time here hi i'm lucy i'm 35 i've got two little girls who are three and four um, and I am currently pregnant with a little boy who is due um, early September. I think he's probably going to come mid to end of August. So, yeah, 27 weeks and one day, third trimester. Very exciting. Um, on just I just literally Googled because I thought, am I in the third trimester? And it says most of the organs and body systems have formed by now and they will continue to grow and mature during the third trimester. The baby's lungs are not yet fully formed at the beginning of this trimester, but they will by the time of delivery. So, yeah, it's insane. It's just going so, so fast. I've got so much to do. Like, so much to do. I've got lists of things that I need to do. Um, I'll go through them in a second for you, but where's my baby center i go by the baby center website and i just use their week by week pregnancy update thing and it says the baby now weighs around about 1.9 pounds uh, which is the same as the head of cauliflower and probably measures around about 14.4 inches which is 36 centimeters from crown to heel and this is an exciting week because the baby opens their eyes for the first time they've been fused shut this whole time and then this week is when they open their eyes for the first time uh your baby is now having regular phases of being asleep and awake which may be reflected by his movements if you haven't noticed a pattern to his movements yet you probably will over the next few weeks the baby is always really active when i'm having my breakfast in the morning he's just like bam 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 like kicking the crap out of me from the inside and then he kind of has throughout the day little bits of getting um more active and then he'll sleep and then active and then sleep and then whenever i go to bed which is normally around about 10 o'clock at night because love island on and i have to stay awake to watch that um he'll then start to kick as i want to go to sleep and um i am a front sleeper and i've really struggled with not being able to sleep on my front like having to sleep on my side because you mustn't sleep on your back especially in the last trimester you mustn't sleep on your back because it puts too much pressure on a blood vessel or something that takes stuff to the baby um, and it can lead to stillbirth so you shouldn't sleep on your back at any point during pregnancy but especially during the last trimester it's very important that you sleep on your side left side is better but right side is okay as well so i kind of toss and turn all night um yeah and he if i want to lay i try and lay on my side but then i do tilt onto my front a little bit and if i'm laying and he's not comfortable he will let me know and just like beat me up from the inside uh it says while your baby sleeps he's like to start experiencing periods of rapid eye movement like REM sleep this phase of sleep is when we dream while he dreams his eyes will dart back and forth behind closed eyelids um, and you may even feel him give the occasional twitch i haven't noticed him having hiccups as yet um i remember that with the girls just like the continuous and um, i haven't felt that yet special cells in your baby's lungs are now producing a substance called surfactant which will help his air sacs to inflate once he's breathing after birth for now he practices breathing by inhaling and exhaling amniotic fluid let's have a look and see what else has happened at 27th week it then said how to treat piles but thankfully i do not have piles i've been very lucky touch all the wood i've never had piles with any of the kids so far touch wood um but then I, I think they're quite common as well after birth if you have a normal birth 
because as you're pushing you can and i've not had to do that so um this will be my third c-section if it's your first time here we had an emergency c-section a planned emergency c-section and then this will be an elective c-section if my labor doesn't start beforehand which i think it probably will uh so it says it's common to have dizzy spells during pregnancy especially when you stand up after sitting for a while pregnancy hormones cause your blood pressure blood vessels to relax and widen increasing blood flow to your baby but lowering your blood pressure and slowing blood flow to your heart and brain this can make you feel dizzy or faint um in your second and third trimester your growing womb puts pressure on your blood vessels which can cause dizziness low blood sugar or low levels of iron mm -mm -mm -mm. um and it's saying you can sign up for antenatal classes i'm not doing an ant antenatal classes we did them um, we did one with our first um which was rubbish it was just an nhs one and it was crap and um half the class actually left there was like an interval midway through and half the class actually left because it was so bad um what else i've got my appointment i've got a blood test tomorrow my 28 week blood test is happening tomorrow and then monday i've got my anti d because i am reese's negative which means i've got o negative blood and my reese's state i'll link about reese's um about your reese's status down below uh with my first and my second i had to have the anti d as standard because i'm o negative blood but then this time they've actually developed a blood test where they can test your blood and see what the baby is if the baby is reese's positive you have to have the anti d injection if the baby is reese's negative then you don't and i was like oh, amazing i can get away without having this horrible injection hopefully he'll be reese's negative and he's not he's positive so i've got to have it anyway um I don't really understand it but it's basically his blood type is positive and mine is negative so if i have a bleed or something my blood could potentially attack his blood so i have to have this stuff um called anti-d which is a hideous injection it's horrible it's a really big needle and it's really thick um viscous fluid and they put it in your arm and like the first time i had it done my first i was sat there and i don't like injections anyway and the lady was squeezing it in and Ben was going, oh, that's taking a long time, is it? And I was like, oh my God, shut up, because it's horrible. Um, and I had to have it, I think, I think I had it at 28 weeks with my first. And then I had to have it again because I was painting and I fell off a chair onto the side of this cot, actually. I was painting and I slipped and whacked my belly on here. Um, and again, because of my Reese's status, I had to go and have... Uh, an anti injection as a precaution and then after the baby's born they do the test with the baby to see what the baby's um like and my first was positive so i had to have the injection again but then my second she is negative so i didn't have to have it whereas this time i will because he's positive so yeah that's happening next week which is horrible my glucose test was meant to be tomorrow but i've actually cancelled it i was booked in to have the glucose tolerance test which tests for gestational diabetes um and i cancelled it because i you have to fast for 12 hours and then have a blood test and then you have to drink this stuff called polycal it used to be lucase but now it's this like glucose drink called polycal um, and then have a blood test so fast blood test drink this stuff an hour later blood test and then an hour later a blood test um and i tested and didn't eat for 12 hours <laughs> but then i threw up and i felt like i couldn't drive i was really dizzy and it's about a 25 minute driveway so i rang up this morning spoke to the midwives and they said um the only reason i was meant to have it is because my bmi is high other factors are if you've had a big baby before which i haven't if i've had diabetes before which i haven't if a family member has had it before which i haven't or if i'm part of a specific ethnic minority group which i'm not so i've only got one risk factor um so i've cancelled the test they've said if next week when i have my growth scan uh, the baby's showing as big i may end up having to go and have uh, they'll sort something out and i might have to have the test anyway but for now they're happy for me to cancel it which is amazing because 
I really didn't want to fast for 12 hours and then puke and then have to drive, have a blood test, drink this drink and then puke. <laughs> Because um, if you puke while you're having the test, then it's you fail it automatically. You just, they you, they have to do it again. So yeah, that was happening this week. What else? I'm really knackered this week. Really, really tired this week. I had to have a nap yesterday, which was weird. At like half past nine in the morning or something ridiculous. Ben was at work all day for the weekend, and I just was absolutely shattered. So I had like a little sort of twenty minute power nap, and then I was fine today. I feel fine. I don't feel that tired today. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of everything. I've had really horrible pains that I think um, is like SPD or PGP. I can't remember. I'll put the definitions on the screen and I'll link it down below. It's just like joint pains and I think because I'm hypermobile it tends to, it can happen more. Um, oh, the lists. Okay, stuff for the baby. I need to get some newborn clothes because I've got all these drawers are full, but I haven't got anything in first size. Um, I need to sort out the baby's cupboard of shame. I need to get some car seat adapters to put on the buggy. Uh, I need to get a pram mattress, um, which is really annoying. Like I've got a Moses basket mattress, a new one. And I thought maybe I can get away with putting one of those because they're only 10 pounds, whereas the mattress for the pram is 30. Um, but the Moses basket mattress is like two centimetres too long, so I don't know if I can get away with that or not. I need to buy my cheeky wipes kit. Um, I need to get a baby monitor, which uh, I just don't know what to do about because I don't know what one I want. I need to get a cot mattress because there's no mattress in there at the moment. Um, and I need to get some cot sheets. And that's about it for the baby. And then hospital bag, I need to do... Um, but I'm going to do a whole video on that. I think when I'm around about like 30 weeks, I'll probably start packing my hospital bag. But I'll do a whole video on that. So if you um, have just had a baby or are having a baby and you've packed your bag, let me know your like must-have hospital bag item. Because I'm always interested in stuff like that. I'll do a quick belly. A quick belly shot. Brace yourselves. Oof. Okay. So... From the front, this is the belly. I've got my trousers just pulled up really, really high. There's my belly. <laughs> and then this is my belly from the side. Let me just, there you go. So this is my bump. Everyone says I'm an actual blimp. I've had so many people recently telling me I am a gigantic, which, just FYI, is not what people want to hear when they're pregnant. Um, it's not a nice thing to say. Um, the midwife, I'm thinking tomorrow is going to measure me. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, I'm bigger than when I had the girls, but then I don't know if it's because it's my third baby. I don't know. But yeah, that was my 27 weeks. I will not miss a week next week i promise i promise i will have some scan pictures i think next week because i'm having a scan um you don't always get scans but because my second little girl was early and tiny um i'm having gross scans this time to make sure that he's growing as he should be and he isn't eeny weeny so i've got one at 28 weeks 32 weeks and then 36 weeks but yeah and when I have the scan, I'm also seeing a consultant, which means I will get the date for my C-section. So, it's very, very exciting. Um, I can hear children screaming at each other, so I need to go. But if you like these videos, please give it a big fat thumbs up. You should definitely subscribe to my channel for more fun stuff to come. I am running a giveaway, uh, which I'll link somewhere and down below for you guys. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.